Now that I know how to use the paper's displays, I decided to make my own YouTube subscriber counter, and since this kind of display doesn't need power to retain the image, the ESP32 can go on deep sleep mode to save power, waking up once a day to refresh the screen, allowing to run on batteries for many months and even years. I want it to look good, so I put the ESP32 and other components inside this shadow box that I bought on Amazon. If you want to make your own, I put all the links on the description, including the instructions, the code, and STL files to 3 print some of these parts. You can choose to show the entire numbers, but since YouTube now abbreviates the amount of subscribers, I prefer showing the values like that. Also, it has warning indicators for the connection and for the battery. To make it as power efficient as possible, I use a bare ESP32 module and solder it with a few components on my custom PCB that I ordered from PCBWay. I put the links on the description for the Gerber files so you can order your own. Not only makes everything easier, but also looks more professional. One of the components that make a big difference is this voltage regulator that consumes very little power to convert the 6 volts from the 4 AA batteries into 3.3 volts. The ESP32 spent most of the time in deep sleep mode, consuming only 14 microamps, and wakes up when you set it to update the display. You can select that on the sketch. In here you can choose the amount of days, with one meaning it would be every day, or every four days, or whatever you want. Then you choose at what time it wakes up. For me I put it on 3am. It calculates the interval using the current time taken from the online servers. And there's a bunch of other options in the setting area of the sketch. I put links for all the libraries that you need and a lot of comments so you can understand the code. The main thing you have to change in the sketch is writing your network name, network password, YouTube channel name, YouTube API, and YouTube ID. It takes a few minutes to refresh because I put it to clear the screen several times to prevent burn in or ghosting, which is a known problem with current e-paper displays. I 3 print all these parts to support the display and other components. I put everything so anyone can make one even if you don't know much about electronics or Arduino. I even wrote an article on instructables.com so you can check it out. Thanks for your support and my patrons, especially Stefan and the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. Ordering from them was very simple and it only cost $5 for 10 PCBs. With this kind of quality at a low price, it doesn't make sense to solder everything on a generic prototype board that takes more work. I hope you find it useful and see you in the next video. Bye bye.